Howdy everyone, Scott Free For All here. It's Monday and we are live streaming. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Good to be here. Let me turn my phone down. There we go. Uh, yeah, I uh, was not feeling well yesterday, so unfortunately I was not able to live stream. So missed you guys. Good to be back. We are going to be on Missouri River Bottom map on my farm and we're going to we're going to add some pigs. We talked about that uh, last week, so I think we're going to do it. I did a little research and I found some some possibilities, so we'll see if we can make that happen. We've got Corp Nut in the house. You have old Cranky in the house. Howdy, 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 everyone. Um, we can just get right into it if you like. Um, I'll tell you what I've been thinking about, and uh, well, I can just tell uh, my lighting is really glaring on my on my glasses today. Sorry about that. Um, why don't we get into things? So this is where this is where we left things. Um, and oh yeah, it's raining. Uh, I don't know if you remember that from last time we were here. Uh, we had this guy set up. We finished fertilizing. Uh, I have not done a thing to this map since we were on it last time. So there's not really a lot to catch you up with. Although, I guess just to kind of refresh your memory, uh, we put barley in, in this field and fertilized it. And then uh, this was our cornfield. We, uh, we put barley over here. And you know what? I think we need, I think we're going to need some fertilizer over here. Why don't we just set him up? What do we need? Oh, yeah. We need some fertilizer here. Um, tell you what. Let's do that. We'll do this first. Uh, yeah, so what do we have in store? I want to get this field set up so that we can advance time. Because, uh, as you can see, our money, we don't have a lot of it. So we're going to we're gonna sell some stuff. Sorry about that. Fortunately, um, we've got some wheat. And it's worth a little over half a million. Uh, but if we can advance our month to January, I think we're in October right now, we can get uh, a good deal more for it. We also have some dry corn that we can sell in January. It's not worth nearly what it could be. So, I mean, that's almost a million dollars right there. Uh, we need that. Um, that'll be enough, I think, for us to um, get our pigs going. Hey, we got Waylon Timlick in the house. Howdy, Waylon. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, but first things first, we need to get our, um, we need to get this field in good enough shape so we can advance time. And we could advance time later, but this is the time to put fertilizer down. Not when it's raining, <laughs> but when, uh, when there's not, what is going on? Um, not when it's raining, but when we just have the, uh, the seed in the ground. Let me get lined up there. There we go. All right. Um, why so slow? I guess it's just how slow we go. Okay. We're going to go seven miles an hour, I guess. How's everybody been? As you know, I've not been feeling well. I felt a little bit better last week, so I did a live stream. Yesterday was not doing well at all. Um, didn't get a lot done. Spent a lot of time just trying to feel better. Today I feel really good. Best I've felt in quite a while. And uh, so it's good that we're live streaming. So while we're getting this done, I'll tell you a little bit about what I've got planned. Uh, I found, I think, the perfect, no, it's perfect, an adequate um, hog farm or hog pen where we can raise some pigs. It's modern. Uh, it's American. I think it's by Schultz Modding, That, if you're familiar with that one. It'll hold a bunch of pigs, like over a thousand pigs. So we just need the one uh, facility. And... Um, 
that will get us everything we need. The other problem that we had last time was looking for a, the right place to put our pig farm. As soon as I turn the corner, I will show you what is going on. Yeah, we're going to be making some bacon, Corp Nut. Uh, great news, Corp Nut. That's awesome. You got a good, you got a, a good report from your doctor. I'm really glad to hear that. If you weren't on my live stream last time, one of the things we did is we tidied up this field just a bit. Um, this field was going down underneath these trees and uh, that was not good for our harvester. So I basically brought the field back to here. Did I miss a little spot right there? I mean, technically that's field. I should probably get rid of that. I will do that another day. All right, let's. Got headling going on here. Something like, something like that. All right. Granddaughter moved to Fort Worth last week. Well, that's right in my backyard, Corp Nut. Yeah, downtown Fort Worth is like a uh, 30-minute drive from me. My sister lives in central Fort Worth. I spent a lot of time there. Tell your granddaughter that Fort Worth has... Uh, whoa, hang on, I got way off target here. I must have hit something. Tell your, your granddaughter that Fort Worth has the best zoo in the country the number one rated zoo in the country um so if she's into zoos make sure she checks that out farmer groot howdy farmer groot good to see you buddy she's close to soul bands barbecue nice well you'll definitely have to visit her then right i mean any barbecue place is good Solman's barbecue is awesome so Yeah, the, the best barbecue in Texas was rated, um, is a place outside of Fort Worth. What is the name of it? Goldie's. Goldie's Barbecue. Now, I think they do that rating, uh, Texas Monthly Magazine does that ranking. It's every year or every other year, I can't remember. But it'll be somebody else next time. There's plenty of good barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> you knew you could park your big rig at, at certain Solomons. Okay. Goldie's has been on UK TV. Interesting, cranky. Yeah, they've really made a name for themselves. Um, w when you get rate ranked number one, um, and, and if you want to eat there, uh, you have to get in line before they open. Because by the time they open and serve everybody, they run out of barbecue, usually before lunchtime. Yeah, I like a good I like a good beef brisket. I like beef ribs. I like pork ribs. But beef brisket's probably my favorite. Just keep it keep it simple. Salt and pepper and a lot of smoke. Low and slow. Hello, Shang. Howdy. Welcome in. Good to have you with us.
Uh, we've got some people that joined us, so let me just fill you in. We're, we're going to be adding pigs uh, to my farm. We're going to take care of a few chores before we advance the clock uh, and put down a pig farm. Uh, I mentioned, or I was going to mention, that uh, we were looking for the right pig pen. I think we found it. We were also looking for the right location, and I think I found it. And that area is, ba is right here in front of us. We're looking at it. That, uh, I'll show you on the map here once I get my um, cruise control working. But this little area right here on this side of that creek, on the other side of the road, that's where we're going to put our pigs. And I think it's a perfect spot. Um, it's a little, it's a little bit of a clump, it's a little clumsy. Um, of, man, this thing waddles a lot, doesn't it? I'm, I'm the one guilty of doing that, but, um, yeah, that little stretch on that side of the creek, not a lot, didn't really know what to do with it, so I think putting a pig, putting our pig operation there is going to be the right thing to do. Okay, and then let me show you on the map what I'm talking about. So here's field 37. We own field 37. It's got soybeans on it. It's going to be uh, this little area right here. So I'm basically just going to turn that into our pig farm. How about that? All right. And I missed that one little spot there, didn't I? Whoops. So... What is going on is, um, no, well, what is going on? It's like the boom is catching on something, but there's nothing there. It's got a hitch and a skid yet. All right. Hey, there's Finnish Farmer. Howdy, Finnish Farmer. Good to see you. Finnish farmer, we're going to be selling some grain here in a bit, so I think we're going to fire up the uh, the auto drive. So we'll we'll uh, we'll be in in on that again. Yeah, I should probably just set up GPS, shouldn't I? That's what I'm going to do. Let's just do that. And that's clearly going to be the better way to go. So let's do that. We're going to set our heading to 180 degrees. Going to auto width to 108.27 feet. I'm going to turn on lines briefly. And you know what? That looks pretty good. I'm going to turn them back off. And we're going to do that. And Are we working? We're working. Okay, there we go. Now I can concentrate a little bit more on chat. What pick pin did I choose from Recruit? I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you right here. The one I chose is, I think it's by Schultz Modding. Let's look. Um, animals, pigs. It is hog confinement. I don't know if that's Schultz farming or not. But anyway, as you can see, it's big. It holds 1,200 pigs. Uh, it's got uh, big containers for uh, storing all your stuff. It does take straw right here in the front. And we'll take a look inside and all that. It's pretty cool. Have any of you used this one before? I think it's by Schultz. I wish that it would tell you who the author was when you click on them here. It does when you sign up for it, but it, it's not doing it there. But I think I think that one was Schultz modding. Oh, who have I missed in the chat? Have I missed anybody? No, I've got everybody taken care of. Cranky, you've got that one on the same map. Okay, well that makes me feel good. I value I value your choice in uh decisions you make in farming, so that's good to know. 
Corbin says you're trying to learn how to add decals using giant software. Okay, it's kind of intimidating so far. There is a way you can get it done. It's it is a little arduous, but it's not it's not um, it's not that complicated. I tried it. I got it to work, and it's like okay, that's fine. <laughs> it didn't work on anymore. Did I download the updated auto drive course? Finnish Farmer I did not, and I know you told me about that. Did not do that. Um, I'll I'll need to do that before our next adventure. It's not in crayon. <laughs> Yeah, you can do it, though. All right, how much more of this do we have to go? It's not a big field. Well, it looks like we're halfway done already. So we'll get that done. Um, and then we will have, now that we're looking at our, our map here, We'll have both of these pieces of uh, square field um, with barley in them. Now we own field 58 as well. That's one of the fields you get when you start. Um, just to show you. Yeah, you get this one and this one. I bought 52 and then I bought 37. Uh, 37 has soybeans in it. This has barley in it. This had wheat in it. We have not put anything in it. Uh, if we go look over here, it's still in harvest because I was con I was thinking maybe we put the pig farm here, but two I had two problems with that. First is we've got this long skinny stretch and this little bitty road to get to all this, you know, going on here, and then I decided well you know it's kind of a pain to you know seed and and manage this little piece by itself it's right off the main road it's right across the street from the farm and it's kind of its own thing let's make that the pig farm in fact i even am thinking about you know maybe if we put the pig farm here we have an entrance off this road and off this road you know so we can kind of go that way that's kind of what i'm thinking matthew walter howdy matthew i'm doing well today thank you for asking how are you and we got elite farming. Howdy, elite farming. You snuck in there while I wasn't looking. Good to see you. Hope you're fine today. Uh, looks like our rain is about to let up. Don't you love the custom textures in this map? I think it they look awesome. Look at the look at the texture on that sown field. And that is very realistic. One of the most realistic sewn field textures I've seen. What do you guys think about it? I could have more than one pig barn. I could, but uh, Groot, you got to see the size of this pig barn. And also it holds 1,200 pigs. So although I, I think I have that much room, I have enough room to do two. I don't think I'm going to need to. I'm gonna have plenty, plenty of uh, of a uh, real estate for uh, a lot of pigs. There's Twisted, howdy, Twisted. Good to see you, buddy. Man, I missed all you guys. I really did. I tell you, uh, the whole week, or really, well, I mean, I I did live stream last week, but I've basically live streamed once in the last three weeks, and. Uh, I got kind of depressed about it. I was like, am I able to do this anymore? <laughs> and I went to bed last night. I slept really well. I got up this morning and I could tell it was going to be a good day. Um, so, yay. I feel much better. It's good to be back in the tractor seat. This morning I watched uh, the Farm Sim guy's video on his studio tour. Did you guys see that? Man, what a studio! <laughs> he has he has he has taken that YouTube money and invested it back into his equipment. And, and plus, he's got his own business that he's running there too. But yeah, very nice setup, FSG. If you're seeing this, very envious. 
way more way more kit than I would ever need. So although, you know, I'm a little envious, I don't really ever need that. Yeah, he spent some serious money elite farming. But you know what? He turns out some great content for us too, so you know. He he's got the right equipment for it. Matthew, I did not live stream yesterday. I was planning on it and I woke up yesterday morning and felt awful. Um, in fact, I had a list of chores and stuff that I was going to do. I didn't do anything yesterday. I basically stayed still. I just had a lot of, a uh, lot of, a uh, lot of pain, really bad migraine headache. But today I felt, felt good. Visited my parents, uh, did some grocery shopping. Did some laundry, got ready for this live stream. So, yeah. Already been a pretty good productive day. You made chili yesterday, yum. Okay, important question. Did it have beans in it or did it not have beans in it? Because if you're making Texas chili, no beans. Some people get like really weird about all that, you know, get pretty extreme. But uh, you know what? I like chili with beans in it too. It's just not Texas chili. It's got beans in it. Magical fruit. Yes, they are. <laughs> I do love chili. I can't really eat it anymore because I just, I cannot tolerate onions and garlic anymore, fortunately. I can I could take the heat though. I love I love the spice. I just can't take the garlic and onions anymore. Am I doing a tomorrow live stream? I have to work tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to. But here so here's the thing. Matthew, you jogged my memory. Thank you. For those of you who are team free for all members, who are supporting this channel financially. Um, we have not yet done our members only event. And that's my fault for being out of commission for the last almost three weeks. So I'm going to sneak it in here before the end of the of the month. And I think I'm almost positive I have Wednesday this week off. So tentatively scheduled, we're going to do the members only uh, it'll be a live stream slash, I mean, I don't know what we'll do. We'll, we'll definitely do some farming. I might, we might just do some chatting. I don't know. It's going to be pretty free form. If you've been part of my member events in the past, you know, it's a little more laid back. It's a little more personal, a little more chatty. Um, it's more about getting to know you guys, you guys getting to know me. Why is this not going? There he goes. So, no, not tomorrow, but most likely on Wednesday if you are King Free for All member. Chain, you just subscribed. Oh, awesome. And you like the live stream. Thank you very much. You like it. I'm I love I love to hear that. Thank you. And like Shane, if uh, if you like what you see, if you like this content, if you're watching this live, please hit that like button. It really helps my channel. Uh, if you're watching live, it helps other people find this live stream and join in on the fun. And if you're going to subscribe, uh, then you'll know when I go uh, live in the future. I have not given up on making some content. Just need to. I just need to get well enough to uh, to be able to do it. I've got lots of ideas. I've almost given up on doing it many times, but I'm not. I'm not going to. All right, let's get this little piece right here, and then we're done. Well, that's great. We uh, we got that whole thing in one. One uh, amount of uh, fertilizer. We didn't have to refill or anything. Okay. Let's head back. 
back to the farm. See if I can back this in first person. Don't think I'm going to be able to, but we'll see. I need to know where that. Hold on, I just need to see where the where the columns is. Columns are. Oh yeah, I'm way off. I need to get on this side of it. Can I do it? I think I can. We'll find out. There we go. Look at that. You know, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. All right. I'm going to put this baler up too. It hasn't, it's been out ever since we used it to uh, bale the, uh, the wheat straw. So let's turn our attention back to pigs. So if you've ever kept pigs, you know that they eat a lot of food. And if you're making their food, you have to have a lot of different kinds of crops. I would like to know your opinion, but it has been my experience that it's not really worth your time or money to make all the different crops and mix your own pig food. My experience is go ahead and make your crops, but sell them and then buy pig food. And that it's kind of a break even thing. I mean, it depends what map you're on, if you're if you're hard mode or easy mode or whatever. But that's been my experience. And so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This guy in like this. Um, he's up too. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put him over here. Don't name the pigs and you won't have the... That's right. <laughs> Eric, you're funny. Uh, especially if we're going to have 1,200 pigs, that's a lot of names to remember. And they all look the same, too. <laughs> Uh-oh, Corpnuts, uh, he's reset the crash counter. It's still at zero, though. Hey, Daniel, good to see you. And Eric Moran, let me formally welcome you into the chat as well. We're gonna buy some piggies today. All right. Let's, hang on, I'm going to get my super my uh, super speed here. I uh, kind of spoiled myself by having super speed. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to save the game. And then we're going to advance time to January. That way, we can get a better price for our stuff. Let's see, did I miss anything? You know what, Shane, I missed your chat Your uh, chat earlier. You recently got Farming Simulator 22 for your birthday last week. Well, first of all, happy birthday, Shane. And that's awesome that you got uh, Farm Sim 22. That's great. You are... Uh, you may have uh, jumped into a, uh, what am I trying to say? A rabbit's hole. Uh, because once you, once you get into farm sim, you can get, you can get hooked. You can get addicted. Okay. Let's, let me just do one thing. I need to make sure I've got my, 
field conditions for my soybeans uh, good too. I I'm almost positive that I do. Well, let's go look. Yeah, pH is good, which is good enough for me. Okay, and then just to remind you, hmm, this is where our our, our pig farm is gonna go. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sacrifice this part of our soybean crop, but that's fine. Okay, let's oh let's do this the right way. Let's go go over to our house. Pretty sure there's a sleep trigger over here, and we will sleep. We have a we have a nice fancy house too, don't we? Let's go in and then we'll go upstairs to the bedroom and let's sleep. All right. Let's check out our prices see how much better they look um we're still we're still a ways off no we're not we're not that far off dry corn we're still a way off let's go one more let's go one more uh one more month even if we get in december that might be good enough but we'll see What's my favorite thing to do in this game? Farmer Groot, that's a great question. I have a couple favorite things that I like to do. Um, as far as um, working in the field, my favorite thing is grass work. I like mowing and baling and wrapping. I, I could do that all the time if I really uh, had to and not complain about it at all. Oh, let's check prices because we're probably gonna need to keep going. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Um, you notice we've got a bunch of straw. We're going to need that for our pigs. That's the straw that we picked up with our wheat. Uh, we already have over a million dollars of value with our wheat and our corn. But let's go one more. Yeah, we're in December. Oh, it's, oh, it's snowing outside. Let's go see the snow. It rarely snows where I live. So, you know, you got to you gotta check out the snow when you can. Oh, nice. The early morning sun. Farm Sim 22 looks really nice, doesn't it? Really pretty. Okay, Scott, enough fooling around. Let's um, let's just do let's do a, a quick one of these. Oh, you agree? Okay, you did a silage farm in FS19, and it was fun. Yep. Yeah, so grass work's probably my favorite thing. Second favorite is probably like tillage work, like cultivating, um, plowing. Really enjoy that. And it is still snowing. It is January. Let's see how our prices look now, but they look better. Um, they do look good. They're starting to go down now. Interesting. Okay. But we are... We are just under under our max prices so let's let's get busy hey here comes our snow coverage we're gonna have fun driving in the snow that's for sure all right now it's gonna be interesting to see how our truck handles in the snow also let's see where we're supposed to go i think we're gonna i think we're gonna go to the train uh, we're going to put this on a train, which is kind of fun. It's a little extra work, but you get better pricing for it. Um, Kansas City is the best place. Let's tag that place. So we can see where that is on the map. But I think it is in the lower right-hand corner. I think it's down here. It is indeed. Can we do it up here as well? No. All right, we're sending this to Kansas City. Um, I don't know if I have I been there. I think we end up. I think you end up going up here to load it, and then it the train will take it to there. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. All right, 
let's get in oh we're in our vehicle oh do we have snow sometimes if you leave your trailers uncovered you will accumulate snow in them uh, so far we don't have any so that's good Now, we're going to use auto drive to get this done. I need to double check that we're going to be sending this to the right place. So, pardon me while I uh, head over there. <laughs> Eric says you're going to need pigs and blankets if it's going to be snowing on the farm. <laughs> Good one, Eric. <laughs> Gert, you say your least is logging. Okay. I tell you what, logging, I don't know if it's my least favorite, but it is it is way down there. I do like it in small doses. I if I have the right equipment, it's not it's not too bad. And if I kind of get into the rhythm of it, it's not too bad. But yeah, logging is is not my favorite for sure. Um <laughs> Corpnet's offering his, his locomotive to uh, do the delivery. Hey, there's Tracer96. Howdy, Trace. Good to see you, buddy. Has Porky Pig been settled in his home, new home yet? You haven't missed it, Trace. We're just we're still getting ready uh, to uh, to buy everything, so you have not missed a thing. Wish they made bigger logs. I do too, Corpnet. Um, bigger logs exist in the world than they do... Uh, in the farm or in the game let me let me go over here so i think where we want to go is um the, the, here's the track here's where you load is that right yep this is where you load and so where we need to go is right so oh the, but we don't want to sell. We want to silo store it. Correct. Uh, tell me if I'm correct, guys. We want to do silo storage so we can then load it onto the train. Correct? Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Finished farmer says yes, storage. Okay. All right. So let's look at our auto drive. Oh, I, I'm not in a um, not in a vehicle. Let's get our auto drive up. Let's look and see. You know what? Let's just get in our let's get in here. Let's see what we want to do. So we definitely want to load our farm, which is called Starter Farm. And then it's gonna be that. That's where we're loading. We're going to unload at, I'm glad we have finished farmer here because he did, he made our auto drive map. He knows, he knows, uh, this intimately, um, cell points. Would it be in a cell point though? It's cranky says it's in cell points. Um, Langdon. It's not elevator cell. Would it be rent train? Could it be storages? Oh, there's a storages that it would be. Uh, crop storages. There it is. Langdon elevator storage. Thank you. That is what we want to do. Let's do our wheat first. Doesn't really matter. And let's cross our fingers and just hit the go button and see what happens. So if we if we did that all correctly, that should sell all of our wheat. We're just going to have to be patient, and um, what we'll do, we'll we'll go along for the for one one haul, just to make sure everything's going to work correctly, and then we're just going to let it run. Oh, I just now noticed there's a digital uh, a digital uh, silo volume, I guess, right there. All right, we're gonna load up both of those hoppers. 
AI are immune to crash counter. Well, I mean, okay, Corpnut. Oh, it's weight. Oh, it is. It's vehicle weight. Yeah, okay, of course, that's what it is. Thank you, Corbnut. That, that makes sense. I'm hoping that AI is able to drive better on the snow. Because I know when I drive on it, it's pretty slippery. Or slippy, as you say, over, across the pond. <laughs> AI will crash for no reason. Let's hope not, Corbnut. Oh, we got a little slippy, didn't we? Oh, this, this may not go well. <laughs> this could be entertaining. I mean, I can turn off snow if we, if we really think we need to. Time to chain up. That's right, Corp Nut. Put the chains on. What we need is we need the county snow plow to come through and plow these roads. And if we do need to clear the roads, that's what we're going to do. We're going to say that the county came and uh, cleared all the county roads. I am going to get free bacon for life, Shane. Do I ever take shortcuts through the neighbors? Uh all the time eric <laughs> but we don't tell the neighbors that we don't let them know so i think once we start turning corners on over where the uh the silo is we could uh, we could end up running into some things so this could be entertaining Hmm. Oh, Shane, I missed your last text. Um, I'm going to get free bacon for life. No, I saw that. Yeah, I saw it. Here's where we're going to crash. I knew it. I knew it. Yep. So we're going to have to take over. All right. So we're going to help out the AI. So Shane, I, you may have me not live in your life, in your life feed. Um, you can refresh your screen because you, I may be like delayed by a minute or two for you. Maybe that's why you're saying that. All right, before we do that, we're, we're gonna have the county come out and clear the road. So let's do that right now. Um, oh no, we don't have to do it there. We can do it, we can do it over here. I think so, is it here? Yeah, snow. Snow's turned off. Okay. Let's turn you back on. And we should see, we should see the snow leaving the streets here as it updates. Usually takes a while for it to work through. Here it goes, Boop. magically goes away. There we go. Now, we shouldn't have the slipping around anymore. Doesn't look as nice, but the driving's a lot better. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get on the main road. That's good. That's sliding away. That's a song, isn't it? Okay, there we go. So we've got snow on the ground again. But it's not on the roads now, so that's good. How much longer is this snow gonna go? Let's let's see. Um, 
Look at the weather. Weather, weather, weather. Uh, snow. It's going to snow until 11, 11 a.m. So, yeah, it's going to be another three hours. It's going to be snowing the whole time we're, we're doing this unless we uh, accelerate time. I kind of like snow in the game. It looks cool. And this is a this is a, a if it's going to snow, this is a good time to do it because our crops are our crops are in the ground. Um, we're really just going to be doing construction on top of a field, so it might as well be frozen, so it doesn't get all muddy and yucky. So I think what I'm going to do, we're going to let our truck do his thing so that we don't have to wait for him to sell everything before we actually buy the pig farm. I'm going to take out a big loan. And then my my thinking is that we get this all sold so that we can pay off our loan before the end of the day. Let's see. Are you going to make it over the tracks? Sometimes they get stuck. No, he made it. All right, I think he's going to do okay now. Who's going to go in through this way? All right. That's a good sign when you see the top open. He's slowing down. He's getting ready. I think I have the, the trigger sense pretty far away. <laughs> It is a steep approach, Corpnut. I was a little worried he was going to bottom out, but he did all right. All right, guys. We're doing well. I'm going to let him continue. I'm going to trust that he gets back for more uh, just fine. Let's get back to the farm. Uh-oh. It's snowing inside of the uh, shed. Someone did Someone did the, uh, did the snow mask wrong on that. That's all right. Okay. Um, here is, looks like we got accumulation on the streets again. I may have to get rid of it again. Um, it's from the wind. A low, a low boy, a low boy would get stuck. Yeah. All right. Let's put down some pigs, a pig farm. We're going to have to do some landscaping first, but. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Oh wait, we gotta we, uh, we gotta get some money. Uh, I always forget. All right, we gotta take out a loan because we have negative we have negative money um, because we're paying a driver. I guess I should have turned that off. But um, anyway, let's just borrow a bunch of money. Uh, I don't know how much it is, but I'm gonna guess it's half a million dollars. We're gonna make almost a million. I think we're just gonna borrow as much as we can. See how much it let, let me borrow. Will it let me borrow a million dollars? Because we're going to need money to buy pigs, too. And we're going to need money to buy pig food. And we're going to need to buy um, a, a belt, a, um, a grain auger. There's a million dollar loan. All right. Now, let's see. What we got going on here? So here, here is, here is where we're going to, come on, Scott. I can't, oh, I have to do this. Here's where we're going to put it. And let's go look at the one we want to use. It is called hog confinement. So it's it's pretty big, but that's see that's plenty of room. And what I'm thinking is, so we'll have. Um, I can't point with my mouse because my mouse has has control of this. But where the uh, where you see the uh, the grain bins, we're gonna put that on this back side, I think, so that we're closer to the barn and 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 whatnot. And then if we if we look over on this side, this area right here. So there's your animal 
dialog box where your animals can go in and then right over here is where you put the straw and then um over right here is where your silage uh comes out so i'm going to put this a little ways let's see i want this to be i'm going to plop it down and then i'm probably going to pick it back up again and do some landscaping if i need to it might be level enough that we don't need to but we'll find out and what is the cost of this uh oh it's only eighty two thousand dollars that's not bad wow that's like almost unreasonably cheap um how far off the road do i want to make this i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it right got plenty of room so i don't want to get too stingy also the aug the the grain augers are going to take a lot of room let's see and I'll turn on toggle snapping is it off or on it is off now it's on okay so we are snapped to there oh we can change the color let's see what we got i kind of like that color it's not bad what do we think guys Ooh, you know I like blue. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with that. That kind of, well, hold on. Let's see what, what are my, what color are these barns? They are kind of brownish, aren't they? Kind of uh, beige-like. Let's see if we can match that. That's not close enough. I mean, it's going to be either that or that I think I don't want to get into like all these primary bright colors oh there comes our truck he he made it that's good it's Mark Thor howdy buddy how's it going man good to see you you know what I think I'm gonna go with that I just am oh look did our truck get stuck no he's moving he's he's doing his thing now okay let's move you Man, we got lots of room. I'm just gonna let's do that. There it is. Now, how does this look? That's at least five five k in pig blankets. Eric Moran says. <laughs> oh, Trace, I missed what you. Uh, let me get caught up here. Trace is saying some stuff here. You don't want to think about the wind right now. It's going to stay above 15 miles per hour till about noon tomorrow. Yeah, some uh, nasty weather came through uh, mid-America last night. We got some thunderstorms here. Not not too bad, though. Really wasn't too bad. You know what? Um, doesn't look bad, actually. Is my Are my soybeans ready to harvest? I think they are. You know, if I wanted to be really lucrative i would harvest the soybeans first and then plop this down but nope we're not going to um if there's a little bit of residual soybean o over here we'll pick it up you know when we can mark door you're good glad to hear that glad to hear that all right so there's our pigs let's get some landscaping done how many of you guys enjoy landscaping enjoy like building a farm putting your sheds down, um, landscaping the ground, putting your trees and bushes and all that. I enjoy, it's not my favorite thing to do and I have to be in the right mood, but when I'm in the right mood, I find it very enjoyable. And I am, I'm ready for this. So we're going to put down a large concrete pallet and then we'll put, um, some asphalt or, uh, down and then I think the rest we're just going to do dirt so I think what we'll do kind of like if we were doing an oil painting we'll start in the background and work to the foreground right I'm not I am not a painter I'm not an artist um, why is this not getting bigger 
Oh, I just can't see it, that's all. Um, I can't see anything. Okay, the snow's gonna have to go away, guys, because I can't see anything. Let's just speed up time real quick. I'm gonna do that, guys. I'm gonna speed up time. Whoa. What am I... Why am I not speeding up time? Because I'm hitting the wrong <laughs> function key. There we go. Now we're speeding up time. Alright, we'll get past 11 o'clock. And then we will get it done. Are these soybeans really done in January? Um, oh, they're withered. Oh, no. I completely miss you. I miss... Wow, I just ruined a whole soybean crop, guys. How did that happen? Oh, it sure did. I was... Man, what was I thinking? Well, we're not here to harvest soybeans, guys. We're here to put pigs down, so... Oops. Yeah, that was a big oops, because that was a big field. That was a big field of soybeans. Right here. That's all gone. Yeah. Well. You know. Sometimes that happens. I could use Easy Deb to just set the weather to. Yeah, I could. Oh, Cranky, you warned me? Oh, well, I'm sure you did. And I'm sure I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is. Um, we will... Uh, you know, we technically did not plant that soybean crop. We bought... Whoa. We bought that crop and... Um, we did not... Uh, so, it's not like we earned it. Wow, it's getting pretty dark now. Because I let, let it go to... Let's just go to the next month. What do you say? I've messed this up enough already. <laughs> Well, we're gonna have a well, we're gonna have a good barley crop. We're gonna have um, uh, and the soybean crop. Oh well, and we have snow again. Tell you what, the weather is really getting in the way. I'm letting the snow go away. Well, I don't have to worry about uh, saving the soybean crop now, do I? <laughs> Come on. You know, it is Missouri, and it does snow a lot in Missouri, so I guess it's appropriate that we're getting this much snow. Um, it's going to snow until 1 p.m. We're almost there. Let me show you guys what this uh, what this is about, since we're waiting for the snow to stop. Okay, the snow has stopped. All right, so let's take a look at this, and then we'll start. Uh... Now, one thing about this um, fact, this uh, pen, is it seems a little undersized. You can see the door here. It just seems like it's a little bit. Uh, small like i'd have to duck to get in there i have to do have to duck to get in there um so the cool thing about this is you go in here and then here's here's where your pigs go pretty cool it's it's set up for 1200 pigs as i said so it, it's a big deal if you go over here you can hide that fence inside so now it's open wide open you can walk around which is kind of neat um Oh, come on, Scott. There we go. Uh, we can put that back. Now it's back. And then over here, this turns on fans. There's ventilation fans you can turn on. So I turned them on. Now they're on. You can see them in the back. They're turning away. Which is kind of cool. All these boots and stuff, you can pick them up. Which is kind of neat. So you don't step in the, in the pig poop. Um, and there's some other things you can pick up. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look over here. Let me... Can you guys guess which farming map, which FS22 map 
that is a model of. Can I get a better... Can I get up on top of it? Let's see. Can I get up on top of it? There. See if you can tell what that is. You're correct, Cranky. It's... And Finnish Farmer, it's Elm Creek. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It has gone down, Cranky. I've just made a dog's dinner out of this, haven't I, Cranky? Um... Oh well, let's go see what it what it's what we're gonna get for it now. It's probably not gonna be very much. Um. Oh, here we go. Um. Yeah, it's gone down quite a bit actually. So I lost. So I lost a soybean crop, and I'm gonna lose about eighteen percent of what I could have earned. So, oh well. You know, easy dev tools can fix all of that too. Just saying. <laughs> the focus of this live stream was to put down this pig pen, so I'm not going to let the other stuff get in the way. Let's get to work, shall we? Shane, you're doing chickens and sheep. I enjoy doing chickens. They're easy. And sheep are fun too. They're not hard, and they, they pay pretty well. And then if you... Uh, Shane, are you going to take the wool and uh, make uh, uh, li linen or uh, cloth and clothing out of it? Because you can make a lot of money that way. All right. Let's do what we were going to do before. All right. I can see, I can see this now. That's good. And let me get... I'm going to get right on a 180. So you guys are going to watch me do some landscaping for a while. I hope you guys enjoy watching people do that because that is what I'm doing. I, and if you guys have suggestions or whatever you want to help out, I'm always up for suggestions. I'm not the best at this. I do okay, but I'm certainly not the best at it. All right, so we're going to put... A large concrete pad around that's about right maybe yes um, maybe we need a little bit more room on that side just a little bit more room on that side get straight up on this there we go and I need to get my angle back to 180. There we go. And we'll just take off like maybe that much more. There we go. All right, so I'm going to fill all that in. We should see how much of our wheat is over at the train station. Oh, and I guess I also had some loan interest that I incurred. Yeah, I really messed that up by advancing time kind of willy-nilly. I'm just going to put all, I'm going to make all this concrete if I can. There we go. All right, and then let's put some gravel. I'm gonna put in some gravel roads off here. So we'll start, what I like to do is start with a dirt base and then put the gravel on top of it. And that's just how I do me. And then I think what I'm gonna do, so we'll have to have We'll have to have trucks come in for the straw, and then we'll also in and out for the uh, the feed, and then also uh, picking up the pigs. So this is going to be a pretty big gravelly area. Get in here. 
here a little bit closer. Okay. And there we go. Now I'm going to do like maybe come out like this and then come out here like that and then go to the road like that. And let me get I want to make sure my road's wide enough for a vehicle. So let me get a vehicle to measure off of. By the way, I have no idea where our truck is. Oh, he's right here. Is he stuck or is he working? He's working. Okay, so that just gets... That's just the, just the width of one truck. <laughs> let me show you what I'm talking about. This is one truck width here. So I want it to be at least twice that wide, I think. Like that. And then we'll bring this over like that. Something like that. And then if we're coming here with straw, we don't need to come off this road really. So I'm going to, I'm going to make it come off here like that hello truck we were just talking about you and so there's not even snow on the ground and he still spun out that way so interesting that wasn't even a snow thing All right, I'm going to make this area bigger, too. There we go. I guess the rest of this can just be grass, right? It does, it's not going to be field, that's for sure. Let me make this grass. There we go. Looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I have a bug on my screen. Like a real bug. Got it. Oh, that was a bird. <laughs> I have these little fruit flies flying around in my apartment, and I thought it was a fruit fly that landed on my screen, but no, it was just a bird. At a Texas ditch, I thought about it, Corpnut. I really did, um, and I might. There are some ditches in the map already. They're just not on that road. They're on the main roads, I think. Like, if we go out this way, I think there are some. Well, well, there's one right there. That's for the creek. But I think there's some out here on the main road. Am I right? No, it's not on that one. That's not, the, like, the main, main road. Well, you know what, guys? I'm getting distracted. Let me go back to my work.
All right. This is starting to look good. I'm liking this. Uh, and just get rid of all this field that we don't need. And this withered crop that I conveniently destroyed. rest of this how big can we get oh we can get big this is good we can get rid of all this this does not need to be um cultivated field anymore oop i'm in too far Whatever that color is, it would be nice to have... Oh, that's just grass. So we can we add that? I think we can. What's the color of this, right? Yeah, see, that's going to look good. We can just come, go over with that when we uh, once we have this uh, field uh, out of the way. Whoops. I am doing the wrong thing here. Get back to painting. Yeah, this is this is plenty of land for our pig farm. We could even put like another shed, like a supporting shed over here for equipment. That's well I know we're gonna do that. Um it's just a matter of when and for for what equipment. Yeah, we'll get we'll get all of this put to use. I could see us having that. I could see us having... Um, I don't want to get rid of those bushes if I can help it. Let's see if I can get in here close and just get, get this out without destroying the bushes. I think I can. All right, here we go. And we're getting close. I'm sorry I'm being so quiet, guys. I, I'm i like in serious concentration mode. It, sometimes it takes all my concentration to do things. <laughs> I don't have a lot of brain bandwidth these days, so I have to uh, keep it focused. Daniel, you're out of here? Okay. We'll see you next live stream, Daniel. Shane, you played FS15 and 17. Oh, okay, so you're not a newcomer to... To farm sim at all you're just a newcomer to farm sim 22 well that's great all 
All right. I am not going to landscape all of this, but I, I am. I mean, I am going to get rid of the uh, the field area, just so it's not a field anymore. And I'll come back and do like more, like artistic stuff. This is going to be more just setting it up functionally. All right, how do we do? I think we, I think we got it. One way to find out is, and go here and see if it shows any, any field area. Does it still think that's a field over there? No, right? I don't think it thinks that that's a field. Oh, there it goes. It, it updated. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay. Um, I will put grass in. I'll put bushes in later. But that that'll get us going pretty well. Um, also, I, I I I'll put roads down, and then I'll start using the area, and then I'll realize, oh, that road needs to be moved over. Or it needs to be bigger just based on how I'm using it. And so I, a lot of times I just end up changing it. Did I end up doing animal mud there? Or is that actually what we call dirt? I guess that's dirt. Okay. Yeah, big graphic changes. <laughs> yeah, FS22 made a nice big jump, didn't it? All right, let's... What are we going to do next? I'm going to save this game, so I'm just going to lock in everything we've done, the good and the bad. Okay. Let's see, how much wheat do we have over there? And if it's done, we'll switch over to the dry corn. Um, how am I going to find out? I am going to go to my... It's in a different, it's just in a different silo now. I'll just go over to, go over to the silo and look at it. Here he comes. We'll just hitch a ride. No, I'm not going to, I'm not that patient. Uh, there's still quite a bit of wheat here. That's a lot of wheat. How much, how much or how little have you actually done? You haven't really done that much, have you? Well, if, uh, I mean, if he's not going to get it done, I'll just settle up with the loan later. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to buy some pig food. Now, I know that this trailer that we're using will not hold pig food. So we're gonna need to buy a new trailer that can take pig food. And we're gonna need to buy some pigs. So let's do that. I'm gonna set my cell area to right there. Let's see what trailers we can buy that would be good for our pig food. Third party deliveries. What are you talking about, Corpnet? Like as far as the pig food? Or as far as like we're not gonna we're not gonna go pick up the pigs? Or we're not gonna go get the trailer? I might go get the pigs. So we'll get yeah, so we'll get an animal trailer. Uh, yeah, it's a, oh pig food. You are talking pig food. Yeah. Uh there is, I think, a place for bulk food. We'll go look. Because I think that would be fun, actually. We'll just do pig food. I think it will. Mm, did I see? Yep, there's pig food right there. So the Crampy will do pig food. That may just be the one that we use. Because that's not going to do pig food. All right, we're going to do the Crampy. And you don't have the one that you can change. You can't change it? That's no good. There's a... Hmm. Yeah, I don't have the modded one where you can change the... Um, the out, outer portion of it. All right, we're going to, we'll, I may, I think I'm going to lease this one because I, I don't want to have this one long-term, but we will lease it just for today. 
and we are also going to lease another big rig because our other one is busy delivering wheat. So we'll, we will also lease a Mack truck. Ha ha. That'll be fun. Or we could do a Volvo. Nah, let's just do a Mac. Um, let's do, let's do, well, let's do a day cab. We'll make him, uh, let's make him a different color just so we know that he's different. We'll make him pink. <laughs> Why not? I don't care. Uh, I don't know that we need a different engine setup. All right, let's just lease that guy. Faber Farming is in the house. Howdy, Faber. Good to see you. Used to do that in real life with the truck Argzy based in his Palouse, Washington map. Pretty cool. All right. And then we're going to lease um, the animal truck. Oh, I didn't get the modded one, did I? Bruh. I may have to go do that one, but let's see what we have. Don't have it. How many pigs will this hold? It'll hold 38 pigs. Hmm. I'm just going to go and do that, Cranky. We'll just... Uh, 36 is not a large or small number. It's an adequate number. Well, at least that guy. All right, we're going to do a lot of truck driving, guys. Uh, we were talking about, like, what are my favorite things to do? Driving is not my favorite, but it's also... I also don't mind it. Especially if I enjoy the map. And I do enjoy this map. Now, we could... We want to make an auto drive course for delivering pigs. Whoops, there was the trigger. There it is. But for now, I think I'm just going to do this. We need to do something. Let's find out where our animal dealer is. I have no idea. Where are you, animal dealer? Um, I'm going to guess you're over here in town somewhere. No? Down here? Maybe? No? Uh... Is the Crampy... Oh, it might be Cranky. It might be in the way. I will... I will get that moved out of the way before I go too far. Upper right corner. Thank you, Cranky. Um, uh, There he is. There's our animal dealer. All right, let's tag that. Um, Is that in the way? I think we're good. Let's just check real quick. Yeah, we're going to be fine. It's good of you to mention that, Cranky. You don't want that to be in the way. Let's come on, Scott. Let's clean up the screen. There we go. All right, we will go pick up some pigs. Yeah, I like the look of that pig farm. It'll be good to uh, get some pigs going in it. Upper right, is that, am I going the fastest way? Does it matter? Hmm, probably should have gone straight. I think I will. Not that far. I'll just go, I'll go straight up north. Oh, we've got weeds. We've got weeds, folks, in our uh, in our barley, 
and I'm driving in it. Oh well, it's just snow. I tried to make this look good, but it's not gonna look good. All right. So for, for us here in North America, we're going to have a total eclipse here in, was a week and a half, two, in one week. Anybody making plans to go see it? I think it's, uh, was it a week from, it's a week from today, I think. It's either a week from today or two weeks from today. Anyway, it's next Monday or the Monday after. I think it's the Monday after. Anybody making plans to go see it? I'm going to take my father um, outside of uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're going to find a small-ish uh, town that's on the zero line, which is not far, maybe an hour drive from here. And watch it. Too far for you, Cranky, yeah. I, I don't expect you to get out to go see it. But yeah, the zero line cuts, almost almost cuts Texas in half. It like goes from the southwest, cuts like through uh, Austin, and uh, like west of Austin. And then it goes through Dallas Fort Worth and then up through like uh like where Texarkana is, like the Arkansas, Texas uh border. That's kind of the the angle that it takes. So my yeah, my dad's always been big in astronomy, and I guess I, I always have too. I've always had an interest in it. And my father and I went and saw the total eclipse. When was that? In 2004. 15 maybe it wasn't that it wasn't that long ago um and we had to drive much farther to go to the zero line we drove to tennessee and watched it there and it was pretty amazing i think it was we saw like two and a half minutes of total uh total eclipse and this one's going to be even more i think it's gonna be like four minutes which i am totally totally psyched about there's our train <laughs> you would have to fly corp nut yeah it's a little out of the way for you you're in new zealand shane yeah that would be a that would be a that would be a, a drive for you as well oh come on there we go that was a little long all right and then our animal dealer is right there Trying to decide, do I turn or go straight? I think I turn. Just watch it on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you can't be there in person, that's the next best thing. There is nothing like being in the presence of a total eclipse. It is, it is freakishly weird. Your brain doesn't know how to process it that it's getting pitch dark. Well, it's not pitch dark. It's like twilight dusk all the way around you because you're basically in the middle of a circular shadow uh, that's being cast on the earth. You know what? I did miss that animal dealer, didn't I? I need to go just a little bit farther, but that's all right. Yeah, there's Cranky. Next turn. <laughs> you you had me. You were, you were taking care of me. I just was a little slow. I was also talking. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a, a really cool experience. All the street lights turn on, the the birds stop singing, um, and then like you know three minutes later, it the the 
the shadow uh, starts to leave you and you start to see the sun i guess it would be in this case it would be like south east southwest it would be coming from the sun the sunrise not really a rise but the the, the sun the sun uh rays there we go and can i get to it from any other way nope that's the only way all right All right, here we are, folks. Let's buy some piggies. And are we going to get our... Let's see what we're going to get here. Um, I want to buy... I think I'm just going to get these guys right here, just the little pink piggies. And we're going to do 36. And there we are. Okay. Let's go kick them home. You've never done it in real life doing pickups or deliveries. Oh, okay. I I kind of like it. I, I'll do this two or three times, and then I'll get very uh, sick of it, and then I'll just, you know, uh, third party deliver deliver the rest. Cause I ain't buying twelve hundred pigs. That's for sure. Thirty six at a time. That would take a that would take a while. Oh, you did it a lot. Oh, okay. Nice built nice bulldog on the hood, isn't it? A little nice. Little gold, uh, little gold, uh, bulldog right there. Pretty cool. All right. You have an old Mac, solid brass, solid brass bulldog. Wow. Somebody gave my dad a Mac truck bulldog ashtray. Um, when my, when I was really, really young, my dad smoked a pipe. And so he gave him an ashtray. It was a really nice ashtray. And it was like a real full size Mac uh, bulldog um, in the middle of the ashtray, which was kind of cool. Shane, you had English bulldogs in like in real life. That's pretty cool. Never had a bulldog. Oh, thank you, thank you, uh, Cranky. Did I miss my turn? Uh, I did indeed miss my turn. And let's see if I can get turned around. I am. For wanting to do this driving, I'm not really paying good attention, am I, Cranky? At least I haven't crashed. Now I say that, and I'll probably crash. Okay, this is my turn. Not a lot of landmarks out here in Missouri. <laughs> but there is this little house. Little farmhouse, I guess. Right here. That'll be our landmark, I guess. Took an hour to turn around because there were no exits. Been there, done that, Corp Nut. Of course, I didn't do it in a big rig, but um, yeah, I was on a a, um, a, uh, a toll road, and it wasn't an hour, but it was about a half hour. Like the next exit was like 10, 10 or twelve miles down the road. Once I realized I had missed it. And that was in California, actually. Oh, it wasn't a toward, it was a country road. But yeah, there were no exits. And I was trying to get to a friend a friend 
and I were in my car. We were driving to a race in a triathlon in Central California. From, and we were driving from the Bay Area. And I got to talking and, and missed my turn. And it was, uh, it was like a, it took us, we lost half an hour trying to get turned around. There is our pig farm. We have no soybean crop, but we have a pig farm. So I can tell right away that I'm going to change this road and make it turn in right here. That makes a lot more sense. Maybe just with the tire tracks I leave, I'll know how to draw that. And that gives me plenty of room to turn around like this. I, mean, I don't have to do it that way, but um, it would sure help. Mm, close enough. I like when there's a real animal shoot. And this is a really nice one. It's all covered. It's like part of the building. Really nice. All right. Let's move them. There we are. Okay. How are we doing on time? We're doing okay. I think I'm going to go get one more load. No, I'm not. We need to work on some food, don't we, guys? Let's make sure we have that done first. And so I think one thing would be good, it'd be nice to have like a trailer yard out here. Put all these big trailers. And let's get him. Let's go get uh, a bunch of uh, pig food. Guys, tell me if there's a place to buy bulk pig food. I know that's asking a lot. But I'm hoping that there is. If not, I may need to put down a, um, a silo that can do it. 82 multi-fruit station. Okay. Let's take a look. Pull that through, easy shed over there. Check sell points list. Let's do that. Sell points list, like in auto drive. It's under containers in the build menu. Oh, you're talking about the, um, I know what you're talking about, Faber. Cranky says, no, there's not a place for bulk. Okay. Well, that's too bad. All right, so Faber, I guess we're going to go look in the containers build menu for the 82 multi-fruit station. Okay. Containers. Fuel tanks. It'll show where they sell. That's not uh, not a bad idea. So Cranky's saying, check the sell prices. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that first. Let's, I don't think that there is a place, but we we're gonna check. Big food. 
Did I pass it already? No. Here somewhere. Don't see it in the list. So maybe you can't sell it? Or buy it. Yeah, I don't see it in the list. So that's that I think tells me that there's no way to uh, buy it or sell it. Um, 82, oh, 82 studio. Oh, so I'm going to have to add it. Um, gotcha. Now there is one I can add. It's not that one. But I think I have it in, well, I say I have it installed. Maybe I don't. It's under, normally it's under silos though, I think, right? Yeah. No. No. Um. No, I don't. There's another one that I use, and I don't have it installed either. Um, some some end up in silos, some end up in containers. That's just a grain bin. All right, so we're gonna have to just go. We're gonna have to go add the the mod real quick. So, apologies, guys. I am going to. Turn him off. I'm gonna save the game. We'll go install some uh, pig food container mods, and uh, then we'll jump back in the game. How's that sound? Um, we'll do that. And we'll um, I'll look up that 82 Studios uh, multi fruit station. Now, is that a multi fruit station, Faber? You can buy the pig food at at that location as well. Let's go. It's in containers, you said, and then um, it's called multi fruit station. Yee's gaming choice. Oh, okay. Um, hey, I'm I'm not attached to anyone in particular. So as long as it gives, well, here's a pig food buying station. Interesting. For pigs with more accessible prices. You guys ever use this one? Wonder how much it holds. This that's you know I'll install that and we can take a look at it. Um, we can install several. Um, uh, and then let's look up for, let's look for 82 studios one. Can I, can I search on the author? I don't know if I can. No. Search for multi-fruit. Fruit. So I don't see multi fruit in it. Um, yeah, I can't search on the author. Okay, um, I'm in the wrong category. Oh, I thought it was in container. Is it in silos? Is it Nanimal Pens? Search for 82 on the main page. Okay. There we go. There it is. Multi Fruit Buying Station. That looks pretty good. Let's install that one. All right. I think between those two, we can make it work.
and let's make sure they're enabled. That one. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Looks like we'll have this set up just in time. I mean, we'll just get it set up. We'll have a few pigs and some feed. Um, I've got a lot of work to do with the rest of that field. And I think I'm, I'm going to have to do some repair work regarding our withered crop. And also now we've got weeds, weeds in my barley. And that is all purely my fault. Not thinking about the, the ramifications of uh, fast forwarding time. Um, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so there's what happened to our, our truck. I wonder, did he get hit by the train? I bet he just, he probably just missed his uh, turn. Or did he, oh, maybe he got stuck over the track and the train hit him. But that's, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that. Let's take a picture of that one real quick. There we go. Okay. Another. Yeah, that's, there's a good shot. This is for the, you know, sh uh, pictures for the insurance company. And then that looks pretty Ooh, That looks really good. Hang on. Let's do this right. I'm going to change the FOB angle. We're going to turn off the HUD. Oh yeah. Now we got it. That looks pretty good. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just going to leave him there where I'm, I'm done with him for today. Stuck at the first gate and then the train hit. <laughs> Chances the uh, stuff is cheaper to buy through there when the bags and fertilizer. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's not a train hit. You're saying, cranky. Okay. Well, anyway, it was entertaining. Uh, let's let's. Plop down a uh, big food container. Okay, so now the interesting thing is that we have to put this in with a uh, a grain auger or or a belt system or whatever you want to call it. So it's going to be a big one that's going to come out to here. Um, maybe, so maybe we have it over here, I guess. It's going to be a little weird that we're going to pick up pig food and then just drive it across the parking lot to put over there. But get the auger first. Probably not a, probably a good idea. Let's get the auger first. Let's get the auger. So I usually just get this one because it works. Um, we're not we're not going to be using a a belly one though. We could we use this one? Is it tall enough? Yeah, it kind of is. I'm going to try this one. We're going to buy it. And is there a way to hook it up or no? There's no trailer hitch on this thing. All right. I wish we could just place those when we buy them and not have to um, try to get them where they need to go. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do super strength and just get it over there. Because it's too 
it's too hard and too slow to drive it over there. We're going to pick it up and go over like this. What you doing, Scott Free for all? Oh, I'm just carrying an auger over to my pigs, my pig pen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me get this kind of raised up. make sure this is going to be tall enough looks like it will be does it reach forward uh, I don't know we'll see no we're gonna to have to get the yellow one dang it I was close but nope that's not gonna work let's get rid of you and I'm going to change myself my by point to right there. And let's get the yellow one. I can put the pig food silo over the auger. Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, okay, I think, let's take a look. I think all of these are, they're not individual. I think it, you just, uh, it's just one big, uh, what am I trying to say? I don't think you have to move the auger, you know, among all of these. I don't think. I've never used this, this pig pen before, so I don't know, honestly. That's a good idea, Cranky. Let's, uh, let's do that. And let's buy. The thing is, this one is so big. It's so big. I wish there were one in the middle, but there's not. I mean, there's these AGI pack ones, and I think they're only compatible with certain bins, and so they basically don't work most of the time, so I don't even bother with them. So I just do this in-game one. And it works. It's just really, really big. Big boy. Cranky's going to be right back. Am I going to be okay without you? I hope so. I wonder, I wonder if there's like, I think this is all just one big dump area. I think I can do this. I'm going to find out here real quick. And this is really for like, like the hopper trailers, but all right. Okay, so what if we did that? And then, what if... Yeah, this, this could work. We'll see. We'll see if this works. Um, we get the 882 Studios. Um, don't know if it's under silos or containers. There's that pig binds. Oh, that's a little bitty thing, isn't it? Um, hmm. We'll start with 882 Studios. If I can find it. Help me out, guys. Is it under containers or or silos? I'm looking in both, and so here's the here's the other one, the the bind station. Um, I don't know if that's 
what we need. I want to get the 82 Studios ones, but I don't know where it is exactly. It's not under Tools. Is it under Production? Wouldn't be under Production, would it? Does it consider itself a Production? It does not. Barber, do you know where where it's supposed to be? I'm not seeing it. Let me make sure I installed it. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see, wait, it's here. Should be in silos. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is it not going to show up here? It's not going to show up here. This is just like vehicle mods. Is that true? Because I know I have a lot more. Yeah, like the, the production and building stuff doesn't show up here. Interesting. Also interesting. Okay, let's go back to sheds. I mean, silos. It's under containers. Oh, thank you, Shane. Well, let's go look under containers. Let's take a good hard look. There it is. Thank you, Shane. That is it right there. All right, now let's get... I think we will. No, we can adjust the auger. But let's try. Let's try. Should I do it that way or this way? And yeah, we'll try it this way. This is going to kind of be an experiment. I've never done this before. I don't even know if it's gonna if they're gonna be able to communicate and talk to each other, but we will find out. Let's see. That's pretty close. Okay. Let's see if that worked. Um I don't let's see. Guess we do it here? Start filling. There it is, pig food. Yay! It works, guys. Awesome. We did it. I never would have come up with that idea on my own, so I appreciate it. Now, it doesn't look very, uh, very realistic, but I don't care. I could, you know, I could realign everything so it did look realistic. But that's working pretty well for me. Awesome. Let's check out the animal console. There it is. We are filling it up. And I'm just going to let that thing run until, uh, until it's full. And that's going to take a lot of money. Look at my money just draining away. Okay, maybe I won't fill it up all the way. Now, we don't have time to do this right now, but one thing we will want to do is go grab some straw. I mean, I guess we... I don't know that I want manure, though. Will these pigs produce manure? If I... It doesn't show here. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done pigs. I think if you feed them straw, you get manure, but if you don't feed them straw, you just get uh, slurry. Is that right? Just like cows? I think that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. And if so, maybe we don't feed them straw. Because I like working with slurry a lot better than I do working with manure. 
Shane says not. Uh... Nope about what? That's different. Okay, I will, I will read up. I don't... That doesn't fully explain... If it's like... Or, so it's different from cows. So I guess I need to figure out how it's different. All right, guys. There it is. We have pigs. It wasn't pretty. Uh, we had a, uh, a near fatality uh, collision over by the railroad tracks. Uh, we lost our soybean crop. And I've got some big weeds in my uh, barley that I have to take care of. But you know what? All of that we can recover from. We can, we can deal with. I'm all right with it. Um, <laughs> hopefully that was entertaining for you. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's good to be back on a, a Monday with you guys. For those of you who are team free for all, look for a message from me because we're going to do our team free for all March event here. And I think this week, I think it's going to be a uh, Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. But uh, until then, I am Scott Free For All, and I will see you later. Take care.